Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shiva Iduri. We're with our amazing volunteers here at Castle Island. And we're gonna be, we're putting out these cards. You may have seen these. It says write in, right here, Jen. Write in, Dr. Shiva for US Senate. Our write in campaign, uh, ballots are going out. Our write in campaign is extremely important because this write in campaign is no longer just about winning a Senate seat. It's about mobilizing people bottoms up to recognize that we've created a world right now that you cannot trust any of the institutions. You cannot trust the institutions of media. You cannot trust the institutions of academia. You cannot trust the institutions of big hospitals, big pharma. But what I want to talk about today is medical doctors. You brought up these medical doctors, you know, are starting to say stuff. Well, look, it's good they're starting to do it, but in my view, it's too little too late, okay? Back in January, February, March, when we were starting to expose this, we were the lone warriors out there. And, and the reason that occurred was the reason we were able to confidently expose people like Fauci was because you don't need to be an MD, you need to take an engineering systems approach to the body. Anyone who has a, a systems approach to the body, be it an engineer or a plumber or an electrician or a mother, who has to solve many problems or recognize that it was ridiculous to shut down the entire economy, right? In fact, I got a call from one of the chief economists within the White House saying that that he was very concerned that the president was being misled by Fauci. And he said, Shiva, please do your videos. And if you remember, I did two, three videos every night, late into the night. And it was part of those videos was because the medical doctor community, the so-called MDs, who wear those white jackets, who were, who were trained to be massively egotistical, who have a lot of golden handcuffs, did nothing. 99% of them did. Maybe five of them, 10 of them, 99.9% .9 did nothing because they have been trained and they've bamboozled all of us that they know everything and we should bow down to them. But the entire medical doctor community, one thing that you need to learn is that we can't trust them. Why can't we trust them? Because they go to four years of undergraduate school, then they go to four years of medical school, and by the time they come out, they need to make a lot of money. Most of the good guys can't even do that anymore because of Obamacare. So they join big hospitals, they have to make the big money, and they have to become servants of big pharma. That's what's happened. So they will not speak the truth. A few of them are starting to speak the truth. And now some of them are starting to sign these pledges, but start looking at why they're doing it. Remember, I've taught all of you guys the concept of the not so obvious establishment, okay? A number of them recognize that if they don't say something against this fraud, this fear mongering of the coronavirus, everyone's gonna completely expose the entire medical community. So some of them are signing these pledges. I don't know if you've seen them, right? But you gotta listen to them. Many of them are big supporters of vaccine development. They still support big pharma. They're doing this just to protect their jobs. But as Hippocrates said, you are a fool if you don't become your own medical doctor. That was Hippocrates, the father of medicine. So the most important thing that our campaign is educating people on is truth, freedom, and health. And we want, as Ken's got here, Ken, show your face, everyone sees you. <laughs> Ken's an amazing volunteer. Ken got those signs done for us. Ken's out there putting out these cards with everyone else. But it's about working people uniting. It's about people trusting ourselves. The medical doctor community, please don't worship them. Yeah, fine, they're saying something now, but they didn't say Jack <laughs> nine months ago, okay? Too little, too late. And do not give them the respect that they deserve now. Don't do it, because we're going back. One thing we need to learn is we need to start recognizing that we need to start believing in ourselves. We need to understand a couple of principles when it comes to health. The body is a system. One size does not fit all. Get top down medicine doesn't work. What we really need to focus on is boosting immunity. The immune system is the operating system of the body. It's the operating system, which means you take care of the immune system, you take care of every other, frankly, every other disease. In traditional systems of medicine, all diseases, one disease, but you won't hear that from a medical doctor. They still want you to bow down to them. That's what their entire training is. And one of the most important things to recognize is if we really want to solve the health care system, we need to all start getting educated that food is medicine. That's the first thing. MDs don't even look, take, get a nutrition class, okay? They don't even get a nutrition class. Think about that. And, and you know, remember, it was 50 years ago they told everyone smoking was good. That was your MD, <laughs> all right? So why do you trust the MD? Just because they have a white suit and they went to some school, they got... Most MDs aren't that bright. They're not. Mm -hmm. They just slog it through. A lot of them take Adderall. A lot of them take Rit Ritalin. Being serious. 
That's how they make it through medical school. The entire medical school model is a very unhealthy model. So what I'm here to tell you is, if the coronavirus thing should teach you one thing, it's a fear mongering, the MD sold us out. And remember the number one MD was Fauci. He sold us out. I'm happy to see some of the MDs are coming out. That's good, but you know what? You don't get it now, we're not gonna bow down to you anymore. We're gonna put you in the right place. Thank you for doing it.